Here's a most interesting scientific curiosity that I came across originally in the 1960s, an article that Martin Gardner featured in Scientific American. It was a French model. This was made by a friend of mine 20 years later in the mid-80s. For 10 years, he made these aquamagics in a double version. It consists of a tube of perspex containing distilled water, he tells me, and inside is an hourglass. One is clearly heavier than water. It's sitting at the bottom, resting there, and the other one is clearly lighter than the water. It's floating at the top of the column. So when you turn this whole construction upside down, what will happen? Well, something expected and then something unexpected. So let's have a go. Now this one, which was at the bottom and is clearly heavier than the water, is sitting at the top and not moving. This one is clearly, was clearly at the top, was lighter than the water. It's more buoyant and yet it's sitting at the bottom and not moving. Why should it be that this should not be moving. Oh, but now it is. Now that's a strange thing. It was sitting at the top for several seconds before it decided to sink to the bottom where it will be at rest because it's heavier than the... Meanwhile, the sand as you expect has fallen through. And I was still waiting for something to do, happen to the other one. The other one I thought was lighter than the water. It was more buoyant. All I've done is turn the construction upside down. So why should this one, which was at the top, be sitting at the bottom? Ah, oh, now and only now it's starting to rise. Some connection between the two? No, I don't know. There are many explanations for what's going on here. Some of them very fanciful, some of them sound very valid. There is one true explanation. But it's a wonderful way of getting people to think creatively and, and with a lateral thinking and so on. And many feasible explanations as to what's happening here. Clearly the sand is going to fall down, but why there should be a, an extraordinary, inordinate delay before the two glass Sand timers go to their natural state. This one floating at the top, it's lighter, and this one sitting, sitting at the bottom because it's heavier. Why, why the delay? When I turn it upside down, it'll do the same. It'll delay before it moves. A real puzzle.